again, this is Dr. Shembe. I would like to share the information on how to write an essay with you. Your lecturer is Dr. Shembe. Writing an essay. Both assignments two and three require essay writing. For this reason, you need to learn and know more about aspects of writing an essay. The aim of writing an essay is to train you to be able to effectively argue your point across. In order to do this, you will need to read not only your prescribed work, but other relevant literature as a point of departure. The important thing to remember is that your opinion about the topic must come out in your argument. Please bear in mind that the reader is not interested in what textbooks are to be say, but what your view is regarding the topic at hand. To succeed in making your voice heard, you need to paraphrase your argument. Don't copy verbatim, word for word, from the sources you use to avoid plagiarism. Please note that there is no right or wrong answer in an essay. You may either agree or disagree with any statement. The key lies in your ability to support, justify your statement. In other words, what is your opinion on the topic at hand based on literature, evidence that you have read? The essay. The structure of the essay is divided into three parts. An introduction that presents your topic, a body containing your in-depth arguments, and a conclusion summarizing your ideas. Part one, the introduction. An introduction is usually the first paragraph of your academic essay. A good introduction does two things. One, gets the reader's attention. You can get a reader's attention by telling a story, providing a statistic, pointing out something strange or interesting, providing and discussing an interesting quote. Two, provide a specific and debatable statement. The statement is usually just one sentence long, but it might be longer, even a whole paragraph, if the essay you are writing is long. A good statement makes a debatable point meaning a point someone might disagree with and argue against. Part two, the body. The body of the essay is where you fully develop your argument. First is the topic sentence that states the main idea of the body paragraph. It is the first sentence in each paragraph. This lets the reader know what the paragraph is going to be about and the main point it will make. Following the topic sentence are the supporting sentences. These expand on the central idea, explaining it in more detail, exploring what it means, and of course, giving the evidence and argument that back it up. This is where you use your research to support your argument. Example of a body paragraph. Media can be a negative influence on children. Two examples of such possible negativity are overexposure to television and gaming. Research suggests that children who are overexposed to television are more likely to exhibit hostile behaviors than those who are not. A study of 430 children brought to light that 8-year-old boys who were in the upper 20% of television exposure were notably higher on the measures of aggression than the study's other participants. Aaron Huseman, Lefkowit, and Walder, 1972 in Sullivan, 2013. Red, topic sentence. Green, supporting sentences. Blue, reference. Part three, the conclusion. A conclusion is the last paragraph of your essay. It must not contain a new idea. 
A conclusion briefly summarizes the main points of the argument. It also explains the significance of the argument. It is a good idea to start your conclusion with transitional, transitional words, for example, in summary, to conclude, in conclusion, finally, to help you ease your way into your summary. Thank you.